Okay, so till now I've only heard good reviews uh, about civil engineering program here. So many of my friends who were enrolled in the program, they end up doing a good job after the after the program ended. Uh, in terms of research also, they have uh, some great projects to work on. And uh, do check their website, they have all informations there. And they have uh, diverse uh, specialization options, um, like in construction management or in environmental sciences. So it's quite good and they have a, uh, they have a great reputation. Profile requirements for masters in mechanical at the University of Alberta. Okay, so University of Alberta is among the top university uh, here in Canada and getting an admission in Uni University of Alberta is quite competitive. So for master uh, student, there are two types of program available here. Um, the first one is the course based program and the second one is the thesis based program. So I'll talk about the course based program first. So in course based program, uh, if you wanna get an admit in, in a course based program, you need to have a good GPA or, or you need to write, and you need to write a very good uh, SOP. And uh, if you wanna enter into a thesis based program, which is very competitive, you need to write a SOP uh, you need to write a very good SOP and mail it to mail it to your potential supervisor and you need to uh, prove that um, you are really interested in your uh, supervisor uh, in your potential supervisor's uh, research and uh, you have an ability to contribute a, a significant to the research group so the next question is should I go for a consultancy or not Okay, so personally, I did not use any consultancy. I researched through the internet and uh, the application process uh, is really simple here. Even the, uh, when I applied for the study permit, I did not face any of the problem. But yeah, going to a consultancy is really helpful. They'll help you in writing SOP, they'll guide you. So if you don't have anybody who can help you and if you don't know anyone uh, like in Canada or then I think going to a consultancy can be good, but I think uh, without going to a consultancy also, you can uh, you can uh, prepare your application and uh, if you can uh, research a bit more in more in internet, everything is available here. So yeah, it's helpful, but it's not necessary. The thing is that you need to put more efforts if you're doing it by doing everything by yourself, but uh, otherwise it's not uh, much necessary. So I do not want to discourage you guys, but uh, the situation is really bad here. Like this month, around four, 2 million people have applied for uh, employment insurance. That means that 2 million people have been laid off. Um, the situation uh, might improve because government is taking a lot of measures here. Uh, so even I'm receiving a finan financial assistant, assistance uh, from government. So. Uh, maybe the economy will revive back, but currently it's very difficult to uh, comment anything uh, on that. So that so so the students who are uh, coming here just to earn money and only have e economic reason on their on their mind, I would recommend that recommend them. That's not a very uh, great time to come. And students who are coming here for for doing research or for gaining knowledge or for PhD, I think that's not going to affect them uh, much. So yeah, it depends on your perspective and objectives. Uh, so take decision wisely and uh, do research and then uh, come here. So the next question is, how is this pandemic going to affect fall 2021? Okay. So right now, uh, most of the classes are happening online and uh, this will go until August. And if the situation won't improve, I think the university might extend online classes until December. So yes, this is going to affect uh, this th uh, this year, but I'm not sure how this is going to affect next year. And I think uh, uh, right now many students might be facing problem in getting their study permits, but I'm 
very hopeful that Canadian government will come up, come up with some expedited program where students can get their study permit within a couple of weeks or something. Uh, but but uh, till now there is no announcement like that. Apart from that, uh, there might be less admission this year. Uh, might be we'll see less uh, Chinese student. Um, so there might be good chances of uh, getting admit in good universities if this if the admissions falls uh, this year. So yeah, be hopeful. Uh, apply for good universities um, and uh, wait for any announcement from government and university. Okay, so in general, Canadian people are really very friendly. Uh, if you see the demographic of Canada, there are, there are more than 40% of people are immigrant. So immigrant people are generally good with immigrant uh, people. In Edmonton, right now there are more than 70,000 uh, people are from India. So there is a good Indian diaspora here. Um, apart from that, um, people, are, people are helping. I never felt any kind of discrimination. So the next question is, uh, how did you manage your expenses? and what was your total expenses? Okay, so actually I was a part of a research group. So I was getting $22,000 per year which was good enough for my tuition fees, uh, food, housing, internet, and uh, most of the amenities. So, uh, but, the, but the students uh, who, who are enrolled in a co-space program, uh, they generally do um, part-time jobs. And, uh, and here, if you're doing a, a job for an hour, uh, you'll be paid minimum $15 per hour, which is uh, good enough. So most of the most of the students they do um, uh, summer jobs, and uh, during during summers you can do uh, jobs uh, up to forty hours. Uh, while if you are enrolled in a school uh, during fall and winter semester, you can only do twenty hours uh, uh, twenty hours in a week. So yeah, so but there are other opportunities too. You can uh, enroll as a teaching assistant uh, ship. So here, there also you can earn like three thousand to five thousand uh, dollars in four months. So it depends. It depends a lot actually. Question is how to write a SOP. So it's actually depend. Like, depends. Like let's say if you're applying to a research group, then you need to show that uh, you're a good fit um, uh, to a research group, and you're really enthusiastic and motivated, and uh, you have an an experience or some background uh, related to uh, research groups uh, main theme and uh, uh, let's say if you're applying to a course program then the scenario is a bit different you need to sh you need to write it right in a manner that uh, the future courses are going to meet your career goals so it's actually varies a lot um, but uh, I would recommend you to at least add a couple of your achievements